Hey guys, I'm Jordi from Cinecam and today we're going to take a look at the Wave 2 Jip from ProAim. This right here is a heavy duty Jip. We specifically look for something like this so that we can carry our Red Digital Cinema camera, which is currently attached to it. You actually have different options. You can choose to only buy the Jip or you have different packages as well or buy everything separate, such as the pan tilt hat, which we also got, as well as the tripod legs and the dolly system underneath, which is super useful to ride around with. And right here is the control box through which we can control the pan tilt heads on the top, as you can see over there. Super useful if you wanna make those cinematic shots. Now what you see behind me is a set in which we shot our uh, Stranger Things inspired scene with last week, and we shot everything on the Wave 2 Jip. It was super nice and super flexible actually to just roll away to uh, the spot that we wanted to have our shot with, change our framing super fast, and take the shot. It's a huge time saver, plus on top of that, we can also very quickly create motion in our shots, making it look more cinematic. If you work a lot in a studio, where you have very smooth surfaces, definitely get the dolly system. You can actually create super smooth dolly shots like that at the same time make like an arc movement or something while jibbing. Right here we have the pan lock. So if you don't want your jib to pan, you can lock it with these two bolts right here, super easy. On the back right here, we also have an inbus which we can just unlock and that way we can move the weights uh, back or forward if you're changing something to your camera, adding more weight or something. So you are definitely saving time while you're working on the jib. The legs can be extended as well. I'm not gonna do that right now because it is a two-man job uh, where someone needs to lift up the jib and someone else is going to lock it. But you can take some really high shots when you're doing that, of course. It is ideal to work with some kind of an, an HDMI or SDI transmitter so that your video signal is being sent over here to the control panel on the back or to some other monitor in your studio. Now, speaking of that control panel here on the back, what we have is the ProAIM digital controller. Uh, this controls the pan tilt head, so I can uh, tilt up, pan to the right, pan to the left, do whatever I want. I can change the speed of the head as well, so I can make it go really fast by just turning up these two knobs. You can see now how fast that the pan tilt head goes. And it actually goes 360 degrees around, so no need to worry about uh, any friction or, 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 or any locks or anything of that. What I really love about this controller as well is that it comes with two dampening controls, so I can choose how smooth the start and the stop of that spanning or tilting has to be. It comes with a very long cable, so you can also let someone else control the pan tilt head from far away, maybe that person is looking on a monitor of the video feed from the camera, super useful. And last but not least, the package that we got also came with the length controller. Uh, through this, we can change the, the zoom of the lens, uh, zoom in, zoom out, as well as have that record button right here. We currently don't have it connected to the red because the lens that we have is not compatible. But if you have a compatible lens, it's there, the option is there. The Jip also comes with enough level bubbles. We have one right here on the top we can actually unlock this bar right here so we can kind of like uh, swivel or jang this here so that we can level the plate that is important as well as right here on uh, the tripod connection itself now sometimes you need the jib to stand super sturdy in that case you can kind of like lock the wheels right here for every wheel there's a lock and that way we cannot move around with it anymore and we can make those super smooth shots if you want to the unit that we have can extend up to 10 feet uh, which is pretty long for a jib and i really like to have that functionality and even at 10 feet it can still hold pretty heavy cameras with all of the accessories that we need to it now sometimes you you want to control the jib from the front and kind of have your own video head in here well then you have these 100 millimeter and 75 millimeter uh, adapters to attach it here to your jib in front and you can kind of like detach the band tilt head. We actually took a lot of shots with the video head on top right here while shooting our Stranger Things inspired scene that way we were able to react very fast as we had these kind of like horror shots and action shots and everything. Uh, so that's up to you what, what you kind of prefer. It depends on the project, of course. And last but not least, it comes with travel bags. Uh, the jib actually folds in super fast and is also set up super fast as well uh, because you don't need to detach so many things. You can just uh, take your weights off, unlock uh, the pan tilt hat, uh, unlock it right here. This goes into this bag. The tripod goes in this bag. 
and the fan tilt video head goes in this bag right here if you're planning to go to other studios or, or travel with it. In our case, it's not needed because we almost always shoot in studio. So I'm just going to put these bags into a rack somewhere and just leave the jib as it is because I believe that we're going to shoot a lot on it. I think that we're just going to leave the camera on it as well <laughs> uh, because it is just so super versatile to have a jib like this. You're not only saving a lot of time on set with a jib like this, but also your shots are just going to look so much more cinematic as you can just add so many different movements into it. Again, whether you're operating the camera alone on top of here, or if you have a crew, you can attach the pan tilt head, control the camera through here, have someone else focus pool or something like that. Uh, so many possibilities on a super sturdy, have I told you guys that yet? Yeah, sturdy jib, because that is what I believe is super important. Definitely if you're working with $40,000 cameras like this, it has to be super sturdy and that is definitely the case. I can trust this jib, that is important. So I hope that you enjoyed the video guys and learned something new about the Wave 2 jib from Pro Aim. I can highly recommend it as well uh, to any video creator or filmmaker who works in studios like these. Thanks for watching and as always, stay creative.